Hi there. Yeah, there's a really there's three really good reasons for leaving the second molars off complete dentures here. So, and they're for functional reasons. So this is a beautiful diagram drawn by John Wibbly, and it's uh, nicely animated because if someone chews here on a second molar, the second molar can be on the ascending part of the ramus. And if, if there's a bolus of food there, it's going to set a dislodging force like that on the denture and then make it want to move forwards. So this is disrupting the movement of the denture there. The second reason is, according to Dr. Arbe, Jiro Arbe, who came up with the suction effective mandibular denture technique, is covering the retromolar pad is important, and having some space between the second molar and the back there is, is useful because that allows the tongue and the cheek to rest over the back edge of the denture. It almost acts like a, a sandbag just to help keep the denture in place and secure. So that's another good reason for leaving the sevens off complete dentures. And then finally, um, it's reducing, if we've got reduced number of teeth there, the actual bite force required to chew through a bolus of food is reduced. And that means it's, it's reducing the force that's placed onto the underlying ridge there. So thanks very much. Bye.